me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Southern Country Living and today I'm making me and Calvin an easy crock pot meal. It's called Sloppy Joe's Soup in a Crock Pot and it just has a few ingredients in it and um, also I'm going to be browning my hamburger meat and also you um, put garlic powder in it to your taste and um, I hope you all are having uh, just an amazing day. I think it's going to be a really good meal for me and Calvin tonight. And it's so simple and easy. <laughs> and uh, also, if you're cooking this meal, uh, you can cook it on uh, low for four to six hours and on high for two to three hours. So I think I'm going to cook it on uh, high today so it'll be ready for our evening meal tonight. And also, I'm going to be making me some cornbread muffins to go with it. So, uh, let me get started over here and brown my hamburger meat. Okay, when my uh, hamburger meat is browned, I'll drain it and put it in my crock pot. I just got through draining it. Okay, if you um, have a larger family, you can double this, but it's just me and Calvin, so this will be enough for us. I'm going to put in my minestrone soup, and um, you just dump the whole can in, juice and all. Okay, these are my petite tomatoes. These are my dark kidney beans. And my light kidney beans. Now I'm going to put in my manwich. Stir. Mm, that meat would smell good. <laughs> okay. And so I'm going to just get out some garlic um, powder and put in as much as I like. I think that right there will do it for us. Stir that in. Okay. I'm going to be cooking this on high for about two to three hours. And if you hear a noise in the background, it's our air conditioner. Okay, so I'll be back in about two to three hours.
need um, one fourth cup of oil, one and one third cup of milk, one egg, I'm going to put half of this corn in. several tablespoons of jalapeno pepper, juice and all. So now that I'm going to just put as much cheese as I want. I would probably use sharp cheese, but I don't have it today. So I'm just going to use what I got. Just a couple of hands full. And let's stir this all together. This is the way I make my Mexican cornbread. I don't really have a recipe that much. I just add what I think I need. I'm worried the cutest little hummingbird just came up to the door there to see you. Oh uh, yeah, there's several of them. <laughs> I see your flowers on your shirt. <laughs> you think that's it? I don't. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more cornmeal. It's just a little soupy. Okay, that's about what I like right there. So I think it's about two and a half cups of um, cornmeal. You just have to add it to it to get the right consistency, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So now that I'm going to put it in my muffin pans, an ice cream scoop works great with this. <laughs> I think this will go really good with my crock pot meal today. I usually don't like turning on the oven in the south <laughs> very much, but these are worth it. just about enough. Had just maybe a tablespoon left over. <laughs> I'm going to cook these uh, in my oven for about uh, 20 minutes on 375 and I am going to keep my eye on it because my oven is very fickle. <laughs> Let me get these in the oven. This looks so good. Look at those beans and that hamburger meat in there. I know this is going to be full of flavor. Okay, so now I'm going to do the taste test. I'm going to let Calvin do it too. 
We're right in the middle of a big thunderstorm. Yeah, that's usually what happens when we do our videos. Because <laughs> we have one about every day here in Georgia. Okay. Now this is really, really hot. You want me to taste it too? Only at your own rest. <laughs> Since it's so hot. Okay, it tastes good, but now it is very, very hot. I'm going to have to let it cool for probably 15 minutes before I can enjoy it and let you know how I like it. Okay. But I do like how it tastes right now. All right. Um, it just slightened in a few minutes right in front of my face. So, y'all, if I throw this food all over the camera, <laughs> y'all know why it lightened. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's really flavorful. I like it. A lot of different flavors in there. I can taste the minestrone soup in it and the sandwich in it and it's got these noodles in it from the minestrone soup it's really good and flavorful over here i have some cornbread muffins and uh, when i made these i put just uh, corn in them but i usually put cream corn so when i cook from now i don't have to wear my glasses <laughs> and um uh, but these right here let me taste them and see how they taste with just regular corn. They're good, but they're more drier with just the corn. With the cream corn, they're really good. So, I write this, it's and I'll rate this a four I've done my recipe wasn't really on these but when you put cream corn in it it is really good but these right here are really spicy I'll um, give my rating after I eat a bowl full with the cornbread okay let's okay. see how I like it then <laughs> all right but, uh, this was a real easy recipe with a few ingredients in it and it's very flavorful so I really like it it's going to be another one of my crock pot recipes so no, excuse me I'm still eating <laughs> okay y'all do what you love and love what you do and we'll see you on the next video And um, we ate a whole bowl of our uh, sloppy joe crock pot soup. And uh, after eating a whole bowl of it, Kevin, what was your opinion on it? Okay, I really enjoyed it. I actually came back and got one more scoop to go with mine. So I had a little more than just a bowl of the soup. Yeah. Um, as far as rating the cornbread, I'm going to go ahead and give Marie's cornbread. Uh, muffins of five stars because I really like the cornbread muffins, okay? okay. On the sloppy joe soup, uh, I would give it five stars because I love the taste of it and I love the uh, texture and it reminded me of sort of a cross between uh, Marie said it sort of reminded her of a Wendy's soup, didn't you? Or something like that. Wendy's chili. Wendy's sort of. chili, yeah. yeah. Uh, sort of a cross between that and just a, a different type of soup. Yep. But uh, so anyway, instead of giving it five stars, I'm only gonna give it a 4.8 stars, okay? <laughs> because the name, 
to me is misleading. It says Sloppy Joe Soup. And I know it's got this uh, manwich in it, but it's got so many other vegetables that I lost the flavor of the Sloppy Joe. <laughs> and so I'm, I was looking for something different, but very good. I enjoyed it and we'll eat it all. It'll be very good. Yeah, when I first tasted it, I give it a five. But after I ate all of it and everything, I was thinking, this taste is just like um, Wendy's chili more than it does, like you said, mm -hmm. a Sloppy Joe um, right. recipe. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be having to copycat you. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a four. A four? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Marie sort of cut it a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it was good overall. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I came back. Uh, I recently got two scoops. That fills the bowl up. And I came back and got another scoop to go with it, so. And on uh, uh, my cornbread muffins, they were good, but I know how good they taste with the cream corn in it. They're mm -hmm. a lot moister, mm -hmm. but they were still really good. I've gotten some muffins at one place before, and they were so dry that you couldn't even eat them. Mm -hmm. But those are not dry at all, are they? No, they're not. And uh, But it is better with the uh, cream, cream corn. corn. Yeah. But, so I give them uh, probably, uh, I say, a 3.8. A 3.8, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because they were dry. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Just, but not real dry, but drier than I know they should be. Than they should have normally are. Yeah. Okay. Well, Marie, the storm has passed while we were eating. It yeah. looks pretty outside. Yeah. Why don't we go get one of our favorite? Look, there's the hummingbird again. <laughs> you know what the hummingbird's doing? Our little uh, hummingbirds that are hanging out here that light up with the solar light, uh -huh. the hummingbird is coming up to them for some reason. Yeah. That's the ones that, uh, that's what Stacy gave us for a present. Yeah. What's going to suggest since the weather has cleared up this evening, uh, late in the evening, why don't we go get one of our favorite milkshakes somewhere? It sounds kind of good, but after eating this crock pot sloppy joe, I don't know if it would sit well with me. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have to kill We could we'll, go get an icy. That would be better. Okay. okay, we can save the milkshake for later, can't we? Right. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, I uh, hope y'all... Let me get my words out better than this, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all all are having a great... Uh, weekend and so y'all do what you love and love what you do and we'll see y'all in our next video bye